strong dummy we lost tonight, but it's not like he's over to watch the keel over and die. Because uh, that's not us, it's not Oregon. And, um, and yeah, we're bummed, but we've got to beat by a great team. You know, like, they're, I mean, they beat UCLA, they beat us. Um, like I say, hats off to those guys. They work hard. They work hard. What makes this defensive front so special for Stanford? Um, I mean, yeah, they're great. They're hardworking guys. You know, they're uh, you know Trent Murphy is the kind of guy I was kind of going head to head with most of the night. I mean, he's an outside linebacker, but I still count him because he's on the line most of the time. Um, I mean, they're 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 big dudes. They're physical. Um, but I don't think that was really the problem for us tonight at all. You know, I mean, yeah, they yeah they did well. They played well. You know, I, I think they played us harder last year. Um, Trent did, or Murphy did a really good job. I was trying to look for him after the game, couldn't find him. I was going to congratulate him, but uh, I think it was more just a second level struggle for us. We couldn't um, stick on the block at the second level. We weren't getting up there fast enough on the most side. Uh, the backside linebackers were running us down on plays a lot. That's what that's what killed our runs more than anything. You know, I mean, uh, people that don't know football would be like, oh, defensive line just stuffed them. No, it was the linebackers today. Um, but yeah, like I said, that was all it was. It just they're flying. Was their defense um, holding you to 20 points? Was that more of a product of their defense, or you guys not executing as well as you'd like? I think that was a product of their defense, and then I think more than their defense is their offense keeping us off the field. You know, they I mean, I don't know how much, I don't know what the time possession uh, was on either either side of the ball, but I know they had a lot more than we did. Um, that first half was over in about an hour and 10 minutes, and uh, that's the fastest half we played all year, and that's just all because they were just driving the ball and just running the clock down and. Uh, can't really do much about that on offense. You guys got drives going. What changed? Not being able to finish them. Off. We fumbled. Um, plain and simple, you know, we got into the red zone twice. Once on the three yard line. Uh, that was probably the most frustrating part of the game for us. Is just, uh, and we've done it twice, I think, this year. Uh, if you, if you drive all the way down the field, man, you fumble on the three yard line, turns it over. It's devastating. I mean, we bounced back. Obviously, we put up 20 points in the fourth quarter. Um, it's just that's that, that's what it was. It wasn't anything with like our scheme or not doing assignments. We just uh, turned over the ball. That's all. I'm surprised that there was so little Marcus running in the game plan. Mark said that wasn't in the game plan. Um, I don't think it, I don't think it's really. I don't think that was really part of the game plan with him not running. Um, I don't think I don't think he ran the ball because I don't think he really felt like he needed to um, at certain times. I mean, otherwise I don't think that really had an effect on our game though. No. Is there a long time of possession? Does that get you guys out of rhythm a little bit? Uh, it's not necessarily that it gets us out of rhythm. It just doesn't allow us to do what we want to do. Um, you know, I mean, we're a team that thrives on uh, quick possessions and getting the ball. It has nothing to do with rhythm. Um, we get the ball in the end zone within like a minute usually in our drives. And, uh, and like I said, when we don't, have, we don't get the ball enough, we can't do that often if you don't have many possessions. Um, so obviously that's what kind of held us down tonight. This one of the top, toughest losses you've had dating back to high school. So. Yeah, definitely. I mean, high school I didn't lose. Um, my freshman year here I didn't play, so I don't count losing to USC that year. Um, and then last year I think was a little more devastating for me personally just because we didn't really fight hard last year. You know, we didn't. I mean, this year it's not as bad just because we got beat pretty fair and square. You know, we put up a hard fight. Uh, fourth quarter we went down swinging, and uh, and like I said, we can be we can hold our heads a little bit higher for that. But I mean, it's still a loss. We're still bummed about it. And obviously not thrilled. Um, we're going to bounce back, though. It's not going to be a big deal. How do you do that, knowing how the BCS works in terms of bouncing back? Um, I just don't trip about that stuff. I mean, I don't. nobody really does. I mean, we're going to go wherever we're going to go. You know, it's it's one game at a time. And uh, we just happen to lose this game. And that's just, uh, just kind of the way it's going to be right now. There's no going back. Does the crowd come back make this feel harder or easier, or does it make a difference? Sorry? Coming back like you did in the fourth quarter, does it make it harder or does it make it easier to swallow? Um, I mean, if we got shut out, I probably wouldn't play football anymore. Um, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I think it definitely makes it easier. I mean, we put up a fight. That's all it is. It was just, I think it's just a sense of dignity, a sense of pride um, at the end of it. Um, I mean, we had a shot. Uh, it just came a little bit too late for us, and we didn't, uh, we weren't putting up numbers early on, and that's what kind of killed us. And, I mean, we fought hard, so it makes it a lot easier for us. I mean, we can't really, um, we, keep, we can leave today knowing that we went down swinging, and that's something, you know. So. If we had if we had two more minutes left on the clock, we could have done something. You know, we uh, our defense would have made that stop right there, and we would have been straight. But it's like say what it could have, should have. That's not what the situation was. So that's not what happened.